George Kenner. This is the second in a multi-part video about buying a class one CO2 laser. Now, before I go further, I want you to all know I am not sponsored. No one has paid for any portion of this. In fact, I went to a company in Florida, we'll go into more detail in a minute, that had multiple CO2 lasers to be reviewed in the same location. I paid for that entire trip. There was no expense that was covered by the manufacturer of any machine that I reviewed or the company that I went and visited. Okay, now let's get on to some of the good stuff. In the first video, I covered motivation, but I didn't go into full detail. I wanna show you something. I made a little beer bottle that I recapped and I had showed people on my channel how to potentially make some money with that. Well, it took about an hour to redo this. One of the things that sparked me to go to Florida was I asked that company before I went to go over to one of their lasers, take the exact same um, graphic and do it. It took less than two minutes. So if you're looking at this from a business perspective and how you could make a laser pay for itself, this may be a very valuable tool or example to consider. Before I go any further, I want to make a declaration. It's like a second disclosure saying I am laser naive. If anyone sees anything that I've said wrong, by all means, go down into the comments section and share it. I want everyone to have the best information available as they go to purchase a machine. Now, Two things that I'm gonna cover right away are what are called the rail system, which is what the laser head slides on, and another one that is a term that I've heard come up in advertising called American Standard Wiring. An enclosed rail system versus an open rail system. Cleaning and maintenance of those were highlighted by the different manufacturers as though one was superior to the other. So let me explain. This is my X-Tool D1, and I really enjoy this machine. This has led to what I'll call my laser addiction. You'll see this rod right here, and then the rollers on the back. As this traverses back and forth, you of course want to keep this clean so that it has the best um, contact surface so that there's very little what I call backlash and we'll go into that later. Now one of the manufacturers was claiming that this was the best system and another manufacturer or multiple manufacturers had adapted a different system where they will take the laser head and then behind the belt place all of these items. Now the most expensive companies, Trotec and Epilog, also use this system, as does Eon for their Nova series, which is what I'm considering. But they also do it for their Mira system. So we're gonna delve into that a little bit more and through the reviews, but these are big differences in the machine. American Standard Wiring. Let's delve into that a little bit. As I reviewed YouTubes and um, different blogs to find out about what was the best machine, wiring seemed to come up and was repeated and there was a term American Standard Wiring. So I Googled it. I could find nothing on American Standard Wiring for a laser. I went into one of my favorite Facebook groups and I asked, is there any American Standard Wiring? Now, all of my background said that there was no such thing, so why was this manufacturer saying it? Well, with all the research Research that I did, one manufacturer even commented, the manufacturer rep on the Facebook page and said, basically, it's puffing. 
It's you know using something uh, about the wiring of one machine in comparison to the other machine without really a standard, a certification, or even an engineer's review. So if someone starts attacking the machine on American Standard wiring, you may want to do a little bit of research on that. I want to give you guys all the tools necessary to make the best decision. Find out, is there American Standard wiring? If so, please put a comment down below. Well, everybody, it's time to talk about the Eon experience and what I went through. I want to use an analogy here. There is a lot of brand loyalty in this industry. My Mustang is faster than your Corvette. I understand that if you bought one of these machines, you, of course, want to feel as though you've made the best decision. However, if you're new and naive to the market like I am, and you listen to some of the information, some of it just doesn't really make sense. It doesn't ring true. So when I found out that Aon had opened up the ability to go and review everybody's machine, I thought even if it cost me a few thousand dollars to add on to the cost of the machine, it was probably well worth it. Well, I'm going to get right to the punchline. It was. I believe they have the best machine for the price. Now, the story is probably not really in the, I'll call it the engineer's comparison, but it's in your ability to go down and make this determination. They're literally going to hand you the Corvette and the Mustang and the Ferrari and let you go for a ride. Now, the machines that I reviewed were the Boss, an Ohmtech, and a Thunder all 100 watt versions. All of them that, it's my understanding, they purchased from the companies directly and paid full price for it. They were, they were just a standard retail order machine and were sitting on their showroom floor just as they had arrived. So when I arrived, I, one of my first discussions was with Lech, who's the engineer, and I was very impressed with his integrity. He came up and he says, each one of these machines is a fine machine. He says, you're going to have to learn how to use each one of them. No lasers are exactly the same, but you know, I'm going to hand you to a technician. I want you to be as hands-on with all of them. We're going to set some controls about the pieces that we run. And we have multiple amounts of raw material here so that we can get the best test. And then he left, turned me over to the technician. Now, we started a couple of tests. And what's happening in the background is there's a cubicle with about six people in it. You know what it was? It's customer service right there in the facility. Now, did they plan that or it just happen? I'm not sure. But these big ears, they went straight over and started to listen to the calls. And it seemed as the vast majority of them were about light burn. Another thing came to mind was someone commented about the size of one of the competitors and how many people they had and that they were basically a drop shipper. So, I looked at the number of people that were supposed to be in that company, and I looked at these technicians alone, not including the guys that were doing wiring harnesses in the back, and I hadn't even been to the warehouse to see another 10 employees there. Plus, 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 I'm thinking this is really a big company. These guys are serious about this. So I'm going to, to jump forward to the last day that I was there and I went to the warehouse facility, which is where they had the Eon Nova. I talked to the engineer and one of the first things I wanted to know was <laughs> the, the roller system, enclosed or open rail. And I said, what I'd heard is that you use a grease that is a consistency of toothpaste. And he smiled and cracked up. And he gave me the exact specification for the grease. He says, it's nothing like toothpaste. And then I said, you know, in this enclosed rail system, let's really go over that. Let's talk about that. Why would I want to be able to get in this? And he says, well, the system is probably, you know, 96 to 98% sealed because of the belt and the way the belt works into the guide rail. And he says, here. And he took the belt off with a simple hex wrench. It, it didn't even take two minutes. He said, and then he put it back on. The full process was four minutes. And I said to him, I was 
thinking, you know, I've been given some information here that doesn't really quite seem fair. And I said, why? It, it, why have you not addressed this? Why is this not out in your YouTube videos? And he raises his hand and he looks around and he says, you see this? 22,500 square feet. And he's got a whole bunch of more machinery. I, I'm going to use a colloquial phrase, but that's his little personal shop. I, I bet you he's in there on the weekend playing and making. His passion is right there in that building. I found out he even designed the whole building himself. So, you know, I, I, let's, let's touch on, on the reviews in general and what you can expect if you go to the experience. These were all laser um, luggage tags that were done, and they showed me how to grade them. And sometimes, and I'll, I'll point down in, in the video to where an S seems out of line. That's because there was a chatter in uh, the laser head as it was making the cut. Now, we did it, and we did it, we saw it, we slowed it down to try and make it better. In some cases it worked, in some cases it didn't. But I will tell you, we repeated that experiment across all of the machines, and the Eon, well, Eon Nova was the best, and that, it, it, there was no comparison. It just had the, the nicest effect. Um, when I looked at some of the, like on the Ohm Tech, we cut a piece of wood and it flared up. What ended up happening was a small flame, not really that big. So the, the distance from the board to the laser head is not that far, but it did flame up some sap in the wood, whatever it was, and it actually started to melt the LED light. Now, two of the manufacturers put the LED light on the side, Nova and Thunder. So. If from a design perspective, I walked away from the Ohm Tech thinking, oh, I don't want that. I don't want to be immediately servicing the machine. I went over to the boss, I looked, their LED light is up in the same place. And oddly, even when the light's directly down on top of the head, the lighting and the other two machines was far superior. Why do I share that? You go down and you go see. If you don't believe me and I don't want you to believe me, I'd want everyone to, to pick the right machine for them. Depending upon where you are in the United States, and I flew from San Diego um, over and stayed for four days, it cost me a couple of thousand dollars. I'm not approaching this as a business, but it would either be one, deductible to do the inspection, or two, if you really look at what it's gonna cost you in the long run, isn't having the right machine, you know, a much better way to go? Go to the experience, experience it yourself. One of the last things is I've already showed you the pictures of the background videos. This is a probably about a five inch steel Pegasus. It was cut on a, a machine at Aon. It's my understanding that if you buy an AM machine or you currently own an AM machine, they're going to make this service available to you at a price discounted for you. So if you're like running a small sign company or, you know, there's big money in signs, you needed something cut out of metal, they'll do it for you, give you a priority in scheduling and price. So if you were looking at, you know, how do I make my money back? They're really concerned. I was able to meet one of their ambassadors and her pictures on the side of their trucks, Emily. And I got something to tell you guys out there. If you think women do not know lasers, Emily has a very pleasant, and I think she referred to her personality as bubbly, that woman knows her lasers. Don't think that if there's any moss on that rock, I'm telling you. And if you're not watching her on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, I'm gonna put all those contacts down on the bottom. She met me with open arms and said, you know, she asked me what my concerns were. She wanted to know because she wants to share the same type of information. And once you get experienced, you know, some of these things don't really, um, they, they no longer resonate with you. Like, see, I go over to my CNC machine and I take some of the experience from that where we do a cut 
And if we do one path to cut it out, well, why not take half as much and then go just a little bit deeper? Now, if I was having a problem with my laser, I would set up the outline cut to take two passes just to make sure that I got through. But if you're really trying to test the machine, well, in the strength of the machine, you need to do it equally. And we did do it equally and some of them didn't punch out, but the Aeon Nova 14 did. Another thing, I saw why I was there. I continued my, uh, my research. I opened up Google and there was a claim by Boss Laser that their machine was three times faster. Well, if you were using that, say, on a cut pattern, that would mean that you would be able to take a light burn and increase the speed of the laser head three times. It's not going to happen. Run that test. Go try that. Go to the EON experience and give that a shot. If you're going to claim it's three times faster, show me. I wish you all the best. I bet pretty soon where I'm sitting right down here, there's going to be uh, there's going to be an EON. And it's just a matter of which one. I mean, I got there and I saw the size of the Mira 7, Mira 9, and then the Nova. You know, is the Nova more than I need? Come back. Please leave all your comments down at the bottom. I'm not going to buy one until, all, until I have some responses on this video. You have a good day. Thank you for watching. Oh, don't, don't forget to subscribe. to dance.